Good morning, people of Assembly Kids Church. I hope that you're ready for a fun and exciting time for Kids Church Online. Before I start the countdown, I learned a few moments ago that my daughter Ella doesn't like this slide right here. Ella, will you want to explain to us why you don't like it? Yeah. No. <laughs> she doesn't want to, but what she told me is it's like all different colors and stuff, so I don't know. I'm just trying to be colorful. Assembly Kids Church Online is starting right now. This is Ella. Find your seats 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 now. Kids. Church will start right, right, right now. One, two, three, yeah, let's begin. Everybody knows what time it is. We're gonna start this party again. One, two, three, yeah, let's begin. Move your feet as we try to be in. Well, I just want to welcome you once again. We are so happy to be here. I have my lovely wife, Melissa, here. Say hi to everybody, Melissa. Hello, everybody. I have Penelope over here. Hi. I have my sweet daughter, Ella. Hello. And my gruff and rough, Hudson. Hello. Got it, you. Uh, well, you are my sweet daughter. And when you talk, you need to make sure your mic is up close. Yep, like that. All right, y'all. Hey, you know what? We're going to pray. Would you just join with me, bow your head, close your eyes. We're going to pray for our BGMC country of the month, which is the Philippines. We're also going to pray for our country. So please bow your head, close your eyes, wherever you're at. Here we go. God, we thank you, Lord, that you are allowing us to continue to worship you no matter what's going on in the world. Lord, no matter how good things are, no matter how bad things are, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we thank you for that. We thank you, Lord, that you've called us your children. So, Lord, we just want to pray for the Philippines right now. I've never been there. I only know a little bit about it. But I know that you love every single person that makes up the many islands of the Philippines. And, Lord, today we're praying that you would send more missionaries there. Lord, we're praying that more churches would be built there. God, we're praying that every single person, every single child, would have an opportunity to hear the good news of Jesus. Lord, we also want to pray for... America, God, our great country. We pray, Lord, that you continue to give all of our governors wisdom, Father. Lord, we pray, God, that um, the safety of your people and the people of America will not be politicized. God, we pray, Lord, that everyone around our great country, everyone in leadership, including our president and everyone in our government, uh, Lord, will do the right thing, Father. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, everyone said? Amen. 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 I just have one announcement for you. Does anybody want to guess what the announcement is? No. All right. Well, here it is. The return. Can you all say the return? The return. The return. That's right, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, June 7th, we are returning to Assembly Kids Church. It's going to be two services, 8.30 and 10.45. Listen, we're going to be doing things very safely. When you come into Kids Church, you're going to have your temperature taken. You are also going to either sanitize your hands or wash them, however your whatever your parents' preference is. And then we're also going to have your parents fill out a form. But we are starting Kids Church up again 
It's the return of Assembly Kids Church. I'm so super excited about it. That is June 7th. All right? So get ready for that. We're going to talk a little bit more about that later. So we are going to do our next song. It's Greater Is He. Wherever you're at, stand up. Get your wiggles out. Can you guys show them how to get their wiggles out a little bit? Very good. That was awesome. So if your wiggles are out, go ahead and stand up. And here's this song, Greater Is He. Boys and girls, it is time for the funny stuff of the week. So you guys can see that on the monitor, but I want y'all's opinions on the funny stuff of the week, all right? Okay. Here's the first thing. I love this one, right? This is a huge snake. Just going to make some hot pockets. No, thank you. What would you do if you walked That's in? That's weird. That. I'd be really scared. I would call... Um, Brittany Nobles and Shelby Nobles to come over and take care of that snake. Would for they me. be? Would they do that? They for like you? snakes. Wow, pretty cool. What I don't would know you if guys they'd do want one that big. If you walked in, and you saw that big old yellow snake. I don't know. What would you do, Hudson? You I, got a plan? Uh, I would leave. 
that. <laughs> she would run. You would leave. Okay. Yep. Run. That's good to know. I mean, I wouldn't just stand there. I one word. Leave. Run. Okay. That's fair. I think, I think those are harmless, though. Here's the next one. I mean, one. unless they constrict are you. Are they harmless? Well, I mean, they're so not, not going to bite you. No, I don't want one okay. for a pet. If it made I hot pockets, that'd be awesome. It, it really if it thing. would make you hot pockets? Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. a joke, but if it really was capable of like doing like stuff a like butler's that. Oh, yeah. That'd be, that'd be no, cool. a like chef a snake. Butler. A chef. A snake no, a chef. <laughs> oh, like a, a chef. chef. Yeah. Well, then he could make more than hot pockets if he was yeah. a chef. Yeah. That's I true. Mean, cool. Exactly. Yes. We're going to go to the next slide now. <laughs> wow. Uh, check this out. This dog can fly. Oh, totally okay. real. Not Photoshopped at all. That's awesome. What would you do if dogs could fly? It'd be sad, wouldn't it? They would probably f fly away. Yeah. They would probably like fly away. They would, they they would like a globe in your backyard. They would like, like a clear fly globe. Couldn't, you couldn't somewhere. It's true. They would fly away. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And maybe when people said, hey, it's raining cats and dogs, we could take it a little bit more literally. Yeah. Well, cats would yeah. have to fly too. True. Yeah. True. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, check this out. This raccoon's like, That's just you're cute. okay, you're okay. I didn't mean to bite your ear. <laughs> That's really cute. It is very cute. It's adorable. Aww. Some people actually have raccoons as pets. Can you imagine doing that? Yeah. My mom's roommate had it. Be like a cat. You think pet so? It'd be, it'd be like a really annoying sneaky cat. It would, cat. It would, it would get into cats. everything. Yeah. Cats are really mean. Like That's cats. true, but I think raccoons can be mean too. I think they can get Except, pretty wild. Well, let's take this this clip for instance. You have this raccoon who starts to bite on the on the cat's ear, and then he's like, "Oh, you're okay. You're okay. I'm sorry about that. It's all right. so I don't know. Maybe raccoons could what, be yeah, good pets. Like hey, you know what? We're gonna play our only game today, and basically, we're gonna watch these three rubber duckies race. We're gonna watch them race, okay. and so you guys can go ahead and try to pick who you think the winner is gonna be: the blue duck, the yellow duck. Or the pink duck. I'm betting on the blue one. Can I say that that's yeah, actually say. orange I'm, I'm right betting now? On the, on the and classic not yellow. yellow. Duck. It's orange slash yellow. Okay, so Penelope, which one are you picking? Blue. Okay, Hudson and Penelope are picking the blue one. Which one did you say you're going to pick? Classic yellow duck. Classic yellow duck, okay. Yeah. It's orange. What are you going to pick? I'm going to go with the pink one. The pink? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to pick. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to side with my wife and say the yellow duck. Okay, you guys ready? You're alone or Ella. So, rubber duckies. On your mark, get set, go! All right, they're off, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Here they go. Uh-oh. I can't tell who's in the lead. Me neither. And Me they neither. don't seem to be facing forward yes, all the time. Yes, blue. Oh, go blue, blue go oh, blue. Yellow not far behind. The pink one's way in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that a waterfall? Oh, oh, oh nice. Oh, no. I think blue might yeah. win. Oh. oh, no. They're all... I think mine got side. hurt. Ooh, okay. blue. Go, oh, blue. Yep. They're having a hard oh, time. Oh, look, they're meeting up again. They're having a hard blue time. Blue is still in the lead? Yeah. That's yeah, not... Yeah, I picked rats. At least we're not We picked right. Blue is still upset. Blue is... Oh. oh! Look at blue go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is yellow in the very last? Come yep. On. Yes! Go, go, go! I think Blue's cheating because he's cat size. No, Dad. Oh, look at Pink. <gasps> Did Pink just take the lead? Yeah. Yeah. Pink took the lead. Or, wait, did Pink... Which way, I don't okay. which way are they going? We lost the Pink. We'll, we'll see, see it. Be patient. Oh, look, there's Blue. Oh, uh, Blue's still in the front? I guess. Oh, pink's yeah. behind. Oh. oh, no. Look at <laughs> We need a lifeguard. <laughs> Come down and say, <laughs> pink caught. just overtook yellow. Okay, he's back. Oh. Oh, oh blue is on. Oh, Here look comes. at yellow. Ooh, yellow coming out. Yellow, in the lead. yes. Boys and girls, yellow yes. is in the lead. That is just crazy. Blue is second, though. Kept okay, let's see. If, oh, here comes pink trying to steal it. Oh. oh no! Oh, oh. blue and uh, oh. pink partner oh. together. Oh. oh whoa! There was a shortcut. That's an illegal oh. shortcut. Oh look at blue! Oh. Yes, blue yes. Man. Try really. not to be as competitive. Oh, oh. sorry, pink. Looks like you're out. Having the count. fun, Anella. Having oh. fun. There's the finish line. Who's it? Come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> yellow! <laughs> 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 
Wait, wait, suck it, though. That's I'll right. Just that's right. Hey, like, please, more. Wow. Hey, that was, like, that was me. <laughs> All right, so yellow wins, blue is second, and pink came in last. All right, well, yeah. that's the way it happens. That was fun. So today, um, I would just like to interview my family and ask them a few questions, all right? So here are the questions. Here's the first question anyway that I'm going to ask, and it's what did you hate about the lockdown? Hudson, we'll go with you first. Um, being not outside. Well, you can go. In, you can go in the backyard. Yeah, but like I can't go to the, like the store or. Okay, Ella, what did you hate about the lockdown? I hated not seeing my friends. Yeah, Penelope. I hated not seeing my friends either. I mean, <laughs> what? I can't say it right. I also. I hated not being able to see my friends yeah. too. Okay, Melissa, what did you hate about the lockdown? Missed friends. Missed the library a lot. And go okay. shopping. Shopping. All right. Of course. Just kidding. Here's the next question. What did you like about the lockdown? Was there anything you liked about it? Hudson, start with you. Um, I forgot about this question. That's okay. If you don't know the answer, there's no wrong answer. Ella, what did you like about it? Is there anything you liked about the lockdown? Well, not a lot changed school-wise because we're homeschooled, but we went in the pool a lot, so. Yeah, that was cool. Um, I liked going on more walks. That was something we started to yeah. do more of as a family is we started going on walks, you know, in the evening. That was fun. Is there anything you liked about the lockdown? Well, it was kind of nice just to have a slower pace and did some puzzles, did some walks. We did miss some field trips, though. So homeschool yeah. wasn't exactly normal. Yeah. But we well, did keep on keeping on with homeschooling. So. Dad, how about, how about you? Why don't you say what you yeah. liked and hated about it? My opinion doesn't matter. It. I want to focus on you But guys. it does matter. <laughs> Let's go to the third question. Maybe I'll answer this one. What's something new you learned or did? Starting with you, Hudson. Something um, new? Um... Not like me first. We'll start with uh, yeah. Melissa. What's something new you learned or did? She learned karate. And <laughs> she used it on me a few times. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she did. What's something? Is there something new you learned I or did? I don't know that there was anything totally new, but we did the family walks were right. newer for us. Like We hadn't been doing that consistently, so that okay. was kind of a good thing. Good. Penelope? I learned how tired I am most of the times of the really? day. Yes. Wow. Okay. Okay. Ella, something new you learned or did? Well, I started drawing a lot more than I normally do. Feel like you got better? Worked on your technique? I also got better at drawing. Okay. Hudson? Um. Still no answer? That's okay. No pressure. Five. Four. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an answer? It's okay if you don't. I can't think of anything that I learned new. I, I already know everything. You already know everything. Wow. Yeah, that's my answer. That's, not, that's not true. That's not true. Wow. Not true. All right. What's some of the first things you are going to do when you walk into Kids Church June seventh? Um, I'm going to play Gaga Ball with my friends and go see how many tickets I have in the bank because I need to do that and um, listen to the lesson. Okay. Ella? I'm just going to go talk to everybody. So talk to them in a while. Well, and Ella is, is not in kids' church anymore. She's a consistent helper. So, Penelope? I'm probably going to hug Carly and then go play Gaga Ball. Okay. Well, you may not be able to hug her. All right. We're still going to try to do some sort of Social distancing. I'll say hi to her. You're going to say hi to her? Okay. What's the first thing you're going to do? I'm going to be saying hi to all the kids as they walk in the door. Me too. I just, I cannot wait for a kids' church to start. Even though it's not going to be normal like we know it to be normal. I am like, whenever pastor and staff meeting said, hey, listen, let's start a kids' church June 7th, I almost cried of, of tears of joy. I was so very, very happy. So, here's the last question. Do you want to give any shout-outs? 
We'll start with you, Hudson. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to Eli and Jesus. Right? And, and Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ella, do you want to give any shout outs? Yeah. Okay, go go for it. Shout out to Isabella. I really miss you. I can't wait to see Aww. you. All right, Penelope. Uh, shout out to Carly. I guess. Okay. I don't know. Anybody else? Um, I'll just do Carly. Okay. Shout out to all our kids' church team members. We're excited to see you. Yes, very very excited. All right, uh, boys and girls, and parents. Today's big idea is this. Be inspired by our heroes. All right? We should be inspired by the people who have done great and awesome things. So this weekend is Memorial Day. We're going to talk a little bit more about the heroes who have passed away serving and defending our country in just a little bit. We're also going to talk about Bible heroes that we can find in Hebrews chapter 11. But say this big idea with me. Be inspired by our heroes. Be inspired by our heroes. Let's try it again. Be inspired by our heroes. Be inspired by our heroes. Very good. Awesome. So we're going to do our next song. It's Let Your Light Shine. Here we go. This is the last time that we'll be singing happy birthday to all our May birthdays. So make sure you're holding the mics close. <clears throat> That's my technique before I sing. I, I get my voice ready. I'm going to try it one more time. Don't. All right. You guys ready? Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear all of the kids who have birthdays in May. Happy birthday to you. All right, good job, guys. Very nice. So I do want to show you this video. 
The video you're about to see is one we haven't even made yet. It is going to be a video of this being destroyed. This awesome Lego tank going to be destroyed in slow-mo. So, enjoy, I guess. Well, you guys learned it destroyed. So we're going to throw the Lego tank, or rather Hudson's going to throw it from that ladder to the middle of the Gaga ball pit onto that salt right there. The aftermath. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I thought I was gonna not be sad, but I'm sad about the Lego tank. All right, guys, we're gonna do the memory verse. Everybody's gonna help with the memory verse. All right, we're gonna start with Hudson. All right, Hudson. The third word is covered up. The angel said very good to the women very good so the angel said to the women do not be or do not be afraid Penelope it's your turn for I know that you are do you know it do you want to do it are <laughs> looking did I say it yeah <laughs> you said it. you said it. Uh, it's because I'm just so troubled by that Lego tank <laughs> The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking, Melissa already said it, for Jesus, who was, wait, oh, where is it? Who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen just as he said. Come and see the place where he Way. Matthew 28, 5, and 6. Very good. Very nice. Matthew 28, 5, and 6. I Listen. I'm going to say the whole thing without looking. Okay. Well, very good. I, I believe you. I don't know that we have time for it right now, but we'll do, you know. So, boys and girls, listen. Um, even like past memory verses, even though when we start up Kids Church again, it's going to be June, you can still come into Kids Church recite this memory verse, and get your full amount of tickets, all right? You're not going to be punished for the fact that we didn't have kids' shirts all of April and all of May, all right? So please keep that in mind. So here is a video that you've already seen, and it's just to help. You've probably already got this memory verse memorized, but if you don't, this video will help you. Here we go. The angel said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Matthew 28, 5 and 6. The angel said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Matthew 28, 5 and 6. Angel. 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 Said to, 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 to the women. The women. Do not, 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 not be afraid. For I know that you are. That, 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 that you, you are. Looking. Look, look, looking. For Jesus. Crucified. 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 He is not, 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 not here. 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 He has 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 risen. Just as he said. Come and 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 see 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 the the place. Where he lay? 
Matthew 28, 5 and 6. That video is how Penelope has learned how to do it. She just said that to me in confidence. Hey, I got a crazy fact of the week. Are you guys ready for a crazy fact of the week? Yes. Penelope's the only one. Like, I saw this on the TV, and I was wondering what it was talking about. When I was running through it? Yeah. Okay, well, guess what? Well, then you ask and you shall receive. Wonder and you shall know. All right. Crazy fact of the week. Just picture this. You understand time, right? No, yeah. not really. You don't understand time. Okay. I know well, how a, I know how a got clock a lot more works. To do. <laughs> so, one million seconds. If you had to guess, how many days, weeks, months, or years is one million seconds from now? What would you say? I don't know. Anybody want to take a stab at it? Um, I have no idea. What Nobody to wants say. to guess. One thousand <laughs> seconds from now is. 11 days. Yeah, I know. Or no, excuse me. I said 1,000. I meant 1 million seconds from yeah. now. 1 million seconds is 11 days. So, I knew it with couldn't that be knowledge, like a month or anything. Okay. Because so, seconds. with that knowledge, let's look at this. 1 billion seconds from now. So, how many days, weeks, months, or years is 1 billion seconds from now? Um. Probably like 13 days or something. Maybe like three months. Wow. Wait, three how months? much okay. did you say? Uh, how much? Melissa said Maybe three months. months? I don't know. Four months? What I do don't you think? know. This is a great demonstration. I don't know this, how much. This crazy more fact is, is a great just realization of the difference between a million and a billion. Okay? I haven't heard a guess from Ella. I don't know. Wow, that's, I, don't I love know that guess. Either. That is a great guess. Thank you so much for your contribution today. Oh, no, maybe it's like years. Well, you want to change your guess from three months to something else? A year, maybe? I don't know. Okay, Hudson think, says a year. A year I'm going to say six months. My six half months? A year. My half a year. Math isn't that quick. Okay, Just so. I don't know. One billion seconds from today would be 30 Years, wow. y'all. 30 years. Wow. So there's that's a huge crazy. difference between a million and a billion. And that's your crazy fact of the week. It's lesson time. So it is time for the lesson. Just want to remind you to do your best to listen. You may say, oh, it's a lesson time. I'm changing. I'm going to watch a different video. Don't do that. Come on now. Don't change the channel. Well, they can't change channels. But you know what I mean. This is an channel. Thanks, husband. So, I would like to, to remind you that it is Memorial Day. And this is a great day to remember. The, the word memorial is very similar to remembering. It's, it's in your memory. And there are many, many people in the past who have fought and died for our country. And it's, a, it's an awesome thing for us to be thankful for those men and women who have served in our military, who have fought and died. And we need to remember them. It is, in a way, a day of mourning. It, for many people, it may just be a, the start of a long weekend. It may be the fact that you're going to barbecue, and all those things are great things to do. But don't let this day go by, boys and girls, men and women watching, without pausing and thinking about the heroes whose lives have been lost, defending and fighting for our country. I think it's the greatest country in the world. That may not be politically correct to say anymore, but I'm still going to say it. I believe the USA is the greatest country in the world. So I do want to show you this video that uh, I think if you don't know what Memorial Day is, it will help you understand what it's all about. Here we go.
So boys and girls, parents, men and women watching, we will never forget the amount of blood that's been spilled for our country. So, when we're talking about heroes, and boys and girls, you may remember that our big idea today is that we should be inspired by our heroes. And so we have heroes. Some of you may have, you, you know people who have died serving our great country. And you may have pictures of them. And you may remember them very well. But we have other heroes too that I want to talk about today. And if you want to open up your Bibles to Hebrews chapter 11, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's going to be a paraphrase in the video I'm about to show you. But we have what many preachers and smart Bible people all around the world have referred to as the Hall of Faith. So Hebrews 11 lists many, just many Bible heroes of the Bible. And I want to focus a little bit on them today. I want to remind you, many kids who have been coming to Kid Church, you're going to remember these Bible heroes and the stories that we have told. But I want you to go home and, and read it later today, Hebrews chapter 11, and be reminded. I also want to show you a quick video um, that highlights many of the people discussed in Hebrews chapter 11. Here we go. Faith makes us sure of what we hope for and gives us proof of what we cannot see. It was their faith that made our ancestors pleasing to God. Because of our faith, we know that the world was made at God's command. We also know that what can be seen was made out of what cannot be seen. Because Abel had faith, he offered God a better sacrifice than Cain did. God was pleased with him and his gift, and even though Abel is now dead, his faith still speaks for him. Enoch had faith and did not die. He pleased God, and God took him up to heaven. That's why his body was never found. But without faith, no one can please God. We must believe that God is real and that he rewards everyone who searches for him. Because Noah had faith, he was warned about something that had not yet happened. He obeyed and built a boat that saved him and his family. In this way, the people of the world were judged and Noah was given the blessings that come to everyone who pleases God. Abraham had faith and obeyed God. He was told to go to the land that God had said would be his and he left for a country he had never seen. Because Abraham had faith, he lived as a stranger in the promised land. He lived there in a tent, and so did Isaac and Jacob, who were later given the same promise. Abraham did this because he was waiting for the eternal city that God had planned and built. Even when Sarah was too old to have children, she had faith that God would do what he had promised, and she had a son. Her husband Abraham was almost dead, but he became the ancestor of many people. In fact, there are as many of them as there are stars in the sky or grains of sand along the beach. Every one of these people died, but they still had faith, even though they had not received what they had been promised. They were glad just to see these things from far away, and they agreed that they were only strangers and foreigners on this earth. When people talk this way, it is clear that they are looking for a place to call their own. If they had been talking about the land where they had once lived, they could have gone back at any time but they were looking forward to a better home in heaven. That's why God wasn't ashamed for them to call him their God. He even built a city for them. Abraham had been promised that Isaac, his only son, would continue his family. But when Abraham was tested, he had faith and was willing to sacrifice Isaac because he was sure that God could raise people to life. This was just like getting Isaac back from death. Isaac had faith, and he promised blessings to Jacob and Esau. Later, when Jacob was about to die, he leaned on his walking stick and worshipped. Then, because of his faith, he blessed each of Joseph's sons. And right before Joseph died, he had faith that God would lead the people of Israel out of Egypt. So he told them to take his bones with them. Because Moses' parents had faith, they kept him hidden until he was three months old. They saw that he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid to disobey the king's orders. Then, after Moses grew up, his faith made him refuse to be called Pharaoh's grandson. He chose to be mistreated with God's people instead of having the good time that sin could bring for a little while. Moses knew that the treasures of Egypt were not as wonderful as what he would receive from suffering for the Messiah and he looked forward to his reward. Because of his faith, Moses left Egypt. Moses had seen the invisible God and wasn't afraid of the king's anger. His faith also made him celebrate Passover. 
he sprinkled the blood of animals on the doorposts so that the firstborn sons of the people of Israel would not be killed by the destroying angel. Because of their faith, the people walked through the Red Sea on dry land, but when the Egyptians tried to do it, they were drowned. God's people had faith, and when they had walked around the city of Jericho for seven days, its walls fell down. Rahab had been a prostitute, but she had faith and welcomed the spies, so she wasn't killed with the people who disobeyed. What else can I say? There isn't enough time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel and the prophets. Their faith helped them conquer kingdoms. And because they did right, God made promises to them. They closed the jaws of lions and put out raging fires and escaped from the swords of their enemies. Although they were weak, they were given the strength and power to chase foreign armies away. Some women received their loved ones back from death. Many of these people were tortured but they refused to be released. They were sure that they would get a better reward when the dead are raised to life. Others were made fun of and beaten with whips and some were chained in jail. Still others were stoned to death or sawed in two or killed with swords. Some had nothing but sheepskins or goatskins to wear. They were poor, mistreated and tortured. The world did not deserve these good people who had to wander in deserts and on mountains and had to live in caves and holes in the ground. All of them pleased God because of their faith, but still they died without being given what had been promised. This was because God had something better in store for us and he did not want them to reach the goal of their faith without us. Such a large crowd of witnesses is all around us, so we must get rid of everything that slows us down especially the sin that just won't let go. And we must be determined to run the race that is ahead of us. We must keep our eyes on Jesus, who leads us and makes our faith complete. He endured the shame of being nailed to a cross because he knew that later on he would be glad he did. Now he is seated at the right side of God's throne. So keep your mind on Jesus who put up with many insults from sinners. Then you won't get discouraged and give up. So I want to ask uh, my family here, maybe just out of the Bible heroes listed in Hebrews 11, who is your favorite one, Melissa? Um, I like seeing the women of faith represented in this um, passage too. We've got Sarah who trusted God in her super old age. Why am I getting emotional? <laughs> she cries a lot. Um, for faith for a child and Rahab who like, barely knew anything about this about the, God yeah. of the Hebrews and it's pretty cool it's actually <laughs> and then I mean like and Rahab is in the line of you know Jesus comes from her line yeah it's, it's pretty amazing what about you guys who is some who's your favorite um I like Moses okay Ellie Abraham Abraham Noah. Okay. Do you guys want to give any of the reasons? Mm. That's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> so the Hall of Faith. And I think it's great that we can be inspired by our heroes. But not just inspired. We can actually be in the Hall of Faith ourselves. There's plenty of room in the Hall of Faith. They don't have a limit. There's one common theme, too, among all these Bible heroes. Not just the ones listed in Hebrews 11, but all the Bible heroes that we see in the Bible. And that one common thing is not just that they have faith in God. But there's something else. It's that they were not perfect at all. Not even close. You read about some of the Bible heroes listed in the Bible, man, they mess up big time. And we can relate to them. We can relate to our heroes that we find in the Bible. The only Bible hero, and he's the best Bible hero, who was perfect and is perfect is Jesus. And it's him that we have faith in. We're not saying we have faith in our heroes, but we can be inspired by them and we can also be in the Hall of Fame. So we're going to pray today and I want to pray for all of you. Would you bow your head and close your eyes? Lord, we love you so much. God, we pray that you would help us to be inspired, Lord, by your Holy Spirit. But also, Lord, as we read and study your word, as we think about the heroes in the Bible, Lord, even as we think about the heroes who have served our country, Lord, we pray that you would help us to be inspired to do good for your namesake. Lord, you love us so much, but you also 
give us a great commission to go out to the ends of the world, starting in our own town, in our own place, in our own neighborhoods, and spread the good news, preaching the good news to every human that we come in contact with. Lord, would you help us to do that? But God, I also pray, Lord, for all those, Lord, that may be watching who've lost a loved one who was in the military. Lord, we pray specifically for them today that you comfort them during this time and help them, Lord, to mourn. Lord, your word says, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. And God, I pray for everybody watching this, Lord, that you would just help us, Lord, to have faith over fear. And Lord, we look forward to getting all together again in this place safely, but also in your presence. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. And everyone said? Amen. 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 Just want to remind you that you can go on YouTube. I am one. I, I checked yesterday. I am one subscriber away from 100 subscribers. Just one. I just need 100 subscribers. Then I can name that YouTube channel whatever I want. What do you guys think I should name that YouTube channel? I have no idea. I'm going to name it. I have no idea. That's the best name. <laughs> People are going to flock to that. I'm going to have a million subscribers before it's all said and done. All right, I'm just teasing. So don't forget this. You can also go to vimeo.com slash Assembly Kids. There's no ads in those videos. Just want to say, see you later, Assembly Kids. And I'm wondering if anyone remembers the motto without looking at the monitor. I know. <laughs> what is it? Go ahead, say it. Pray, read the Bible, love others, obey your parents. Right here. Good job. Boom. So, boys and girls, don't forget to pray, read your Bible, love, love others, others, and obey, obey your, your parents. parents. See you later, Assembly Kids.